So the 2D addressing is a way of sorting data um, so that you can format it with the DMA um, before you transmit it. So what this will actually does is you set up some parameters here to sort the data. Um, it loads the first element into the data array. Then it adds an offset. Then it loads the second parameter into the DMA, adds the next offset. Once it's finished block one, it'll then add the block offset. And then it will do the same process again with the next block and so on. So it's a way of manipulating your data or reorganizing your data uh, under the control of the DMA. Again, no CPU core is needed to do this. So for our example, we were reading channel one through four, channel one through four, and we were doing that um, 16 times. So in our example now, it reads channel one, puts an offset of 30 in, then it will read channel two, do the same again, offset of 30, then channel three, and then channel four. So once it's finished the first block, then it will do the block offset, which is a minus 126, which puts you your uh, instruction pointer in the memory array back here, and then it will start the next one. So this is basically sorting all our ADCs. So all the channel ones come out first, then all the channel twos come out, then all the channel threes come out. And that's what this next part of the um, hands-on will do. It'll show you how to create that inside the DMA control. So again, no CPU intervention after you've set up the linked list. So this becomes another link in your uh, link list table. So what you do is add and create node number three now. So then you'll have three nodes inside your link list. So I've got my picture at the end. There we go. So yeah, so your code will actually do that then inside there. Then also you can have events. So at the moment we've not got any events happening inside our uh, list. So normally your DMA can give an event at half transfer complete and at transfer complete. So um, it can happen for each block of data you're sending. In our example, we don't want the transfer complete to come until we finished our full link list. So, so we don't we want to do all of that for the data in. Then we want to load the data out, send all of that. It's only when we hit our last block of our last transmit that we want our data events to happen. So, so you can enable the events as well from the DMA as you would have normally done with the basic DMA. So you can actually label events inside there. The only thing you have to remember in this one, make sure you've enabled your global interrupt for your GP DMA. So, so by the end of it, you should have built up a free element in your linked list so that it loads in the ADC ones, waits for the trigger, transfers all the data into the RAM, loads in the data sorting configuration. It sorts all the data into data to RAM buffer, loads in the UR information, and then transmits all that out with your half complete and transmit complete appearing at the very last block of your last data segment. So that's the extra bits that you can do uh, to see what's in the DMA.